Hello, welcome back to my channel and Minimalist Monday. I hope you're having an amazing day. Today I just wanted to share five things that we changed in our lives and our way of thinking when we first started to become more minimal. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the bell to never miss a video. So of course, when I decided that I wanted to declutter my home and start trying to live with less stuff, I had to change some of my habits. One of those things for me personally was to stop watching so much TV. That was one thing that actually led us to this journey, but what I wanted to get into is there are so many ads on TV that I never thought about until I stopped watching TV. With getting rid of cable, we don't see those ads every day and it's surprising, but my kids don't see the ads and when we go to someone's house, like my mom and dad's house, where they see a program that has ads, my son starts asking for all kinds of toys and things that he didn't even know these items were out there and now he sees the ads and he starts asking for these items. So to me, that just shows how much of an influence those ads do have on our spending habits. I also stopped looking through magazines. I never had magazine subscriptions, but I would tend to look through them when I went to someone else's house or uh, sometimes my mom would bring magazines over and I would look through those and I would see so many ads. Most magazines are ads at this point. Even though I didn't go shopping because of these ads, they just would get into my head and I would start to see things that I never knew I wanted until I saw it in that magazine. The biggest change that I made when we first started minimizing was I stopped shopping altogether. I tried to avoid going to any malls. I even avoided going to Target. I just went to the grocery store and what I found is I was so used to shopping for things. Even though I'd never got a lot of stuff, I just was used to looking at what the newest items were. I had to reprogram my brain because I was so used to using shopping as a treat or kind of an escape from reality. And like I said, I never did a lot of shopping before, but I never realized that to me, shopping really was a treat. Even if I went out and looked for things I didn't even buy, that was kind of treating myself. When I quit doing that, I found that I was way less likely to purchase something. When I do have to go shopping, one thing I like to do is really be aware of what I have already in my home. And I like to shop my home. I like to see if there's anything that I can use uh, first from my house before I go and get something new. And just because we are minimalist does not mean that we never shop. We still shop, obviously. And there's gonna be things that we need and as seasons change, kids grow up. I mean, there's things that you have to buy or you will want. And I don't feel that I wanna deprive myself. That's not the point of minimalism for me. But I do just wanna be aware of the items I'm bringing into my home. I do that by being aware of what I already have and sometimes I'll even take a photo of my closet if I'm shopping for some clothes. This one is really big for me and that is to avoid too much social media. And I love social media. I have friends that I love to follow and I love to look at the beautiful pictures on Instagram and Pinterest. I have a blog. So I really love social media. But I find myself sometimes getting stuck in, people call it what that scroll hole or just you start scrolling and seeing all these beautiful images and I start thinking, hey, I need that for my house, I need that basket, I need that blanket, when really I don't need any of those items. I already have plenty of perfectly good baskets and blankets. So I've tried to really be aware of who I'm following and what I am doing when looking at social media and I try to limit myself as well because like I said, I can get stuck in that just scrolling through the images feeling as if I need these items that I really 
just do not need. I'd love to know, do you think social media makes you want to shop more? When we first started on this journey, I really questioned, oh, if I'm not shopping, I'm not decorating my home, I'm not gonna be watching so much TV, I'm not gonna be flipping through magazines, what am I going to be doing? You have to come up with something to fill the void of the things that you're doing away with. So if all of a sudden you aren't gonna be looking at magazines, maybe you can go to the library and check out books to read, or if you're not gonna be watching TV, you can watch Netflix or learn a new skill. Uh, there's just so many things. You can go to the gym, go for a walk, uh, do those kind of things that uh, you weren't doing before maybe or add more of those things into your life because that was a huge thing for me. We were cutting all these things out and I started to question, well, what am I gonna do? Am I just gonna sit and stare at the wall? So for me, I decided to get more creative. I decided to start this YouTube channel as well as our vlogging YouTube channel just because I like to be creative and I want to always be challenging myself to learn new things. That is personally how I use my newfound time that minimalism brought to me. Comment below with what you are now doing with your newfound time. I hope some of these tips are helpful. This is what we did in our lives and this really helped us to become more minimal and shop less and live with less stuff. If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button below and tap the bell to never miss a video. I hope you're having an amazing day and I'll see you next time. Bye.